Nick and Griffin here for Polygon.com, and we just got back from our last day on the E3 show floor, uh, where we kind of wandered around, tried to see if there was anything we missed, and we went to the IndieCade uh, booth zone, right? Yeah, there were uh, a million games to play there. Right. Uh, we played a, a game called Clapper. Yes. Uh, in which Nick and I played Patty Cake over an iPad for right. a while. That was very fun. Surprisingly fun. Uh, the game we want to talk to you about, though, today, uh, the, the, the really neat game we checked out was called Line Light. Yes. And that's with an N, not with an M. No. Not like the Rush song. He's That dude is running into an SEO problem, I think, because I was searching YouTube for Lion Light, and it was like, oh, you, you meant Lion Light. You Lion meant the Rush song. What we played was a, a super cool, very minimal uh, puzzle game uh, where basically every element that you can think of from a, a puzzle game has been stripped away. It almost, almost reminded me of the witness in terms of the purity and simplicity of like what's the most I can get out of these couple of ideas? Sure, uh, in that the, the the puzzles were essentially just made up of lines, lines. and you are a light on it, so it's a very efficiently right. titled You're game. You're a line in a world where everything's a line and all you can do is move over those lines. Uh, but there's a lot of complexity there. It, it looked really simple while I was watching Nick play it and yeah. then I sat down to play it and uh, no, it actually got extremely difficult very, very quickly. There's things like gates mm -hmm. that you activate when you move past switches. There are other lights in the world that if you touch them, you die, so you have to kind of move around them and avoid them. Right. Uh, there are different mechanics where your light can grow very, very long. It becomes much harder to dodge those bad lights. You, you get the sense playing this game that this dude has thought extensively over a very long time about the best way to use each of these mechanics. Like when I first picked up the uh, the tail item, I was like, how, how could this affect the puzzles meaningfully, having yeah. a long tail? It turns out there are, I did dozens of puzzles where that came into play in really interesting ways that kind of required you to do some like non-linear thinking, yeah. ironically enough. Uh, like uh, there's one where you use the tail, you have to kind of back out of it and go up into the puzzle and yeah, come th back down. There's, there's, it's going to be difficult for us to talk about this game and explain what it is without showing it to you. You're seeing it now. Hi, this is the game line light that we're talking about. Yeah, uh, I, it's one of those things where when you explain it, it actually sounds weirdly complicated for what a simple thing it is. But it's it's pure. It's one of those things where it's like this is just pure unadulterated gameplay. It is just puzzles in their rawest form, just. Mainline Which makes it all the more infuriating because I got hung up on a puzzle for maybe five minutes yeah. sitting on the show floor like, no, come on. And it's like, it's just lines, idiot. Right. Why can't you do it? It's just lines. I don't think there was a single puzzle that I got stuck on where afterwards, in hindsight, it wasn't like, oh, well, fucking, of well, course yeah, of that's course, what you do. Duh. And that's my favorite kind of puzzle game where you, it's one of those things where if you stare at it long enough, if you think about it, maybe you get up, walk away, take a break, come back, you will crack that nut eventually. Yeah. And there's a really nice escalation, a really nice difficulty curve. It explained its mechanics well in completely nonverbal ways. Yeah. Um, I, it's exactly what I look for in a puzzle game, and I cannot wait to play more of it. Uh, but that's coming out later this fall uh, mm -hmm. for PlayStation 4 and PC. That's right. Uh, and it's really worth checking out. It was actually a really nice... Uh, uh, reprieve from yes. like some of the louder uh, games of, of E3 2016. It was the least triple A game I think I've ever played. Yeah, but in that way it was also really, really Really great. relaxing. And actually like in fairness to it, like great production values, great music, the, yeah. a nice glowiness, a nice soft wobbliness to the way it all felt. Glowy and wobbly. I, glowy and wobbly. That's what I look for. But not games. line wobbler. That is a different other. That's a different, this is not the game where you're also a light moving down a line. I can see why you would be confused though. Yes. Uh, anyway, that's uh, Line Light. We got a few more videos coming this way for E3 2016. You can view them all on youtube.com slash polygon or check out all of our coverage throughout the week at polygon.com. And hey, thanks for watching. Okay. You like that ending? I did. I loved it. Nick, ooh, he likes to type in the middle of the video. <laughs> <laughs> Nick and Griffin here for Polygon. Uh, that was weird because I started, I got confused. I was like, wait, is your name... Did I get Griffin and Polygon confused? Nick and Griffin here for BarkingDogs.com, your number one source for poorly mic'd dog barking in the background.